You can almost hear a sigh of relief at SeaTac. Great to know that we're through with all the difficult travel. It might be tough to get all our bags packed up in the rental car or whatever. But whatever, destination reached. We're all completely drained. 16-year-old Zachary Lecky and his family started in Iowa, drove to Minnesota to fly Delta, then the outage hit. So they drove 16 hours to Bozeman, Montana. We're seeing some family up here in the Seattle kind of area. And so we were really hoping coming out of Bozeman that nothing bad would happen, but we knew we had two flights. And so two flights, that's a lot can go wrong. According to FlightAware, Delta canceled more than 1,000 flights on Monday. 30% of its scheduled departures, just two by Thursday. It's a really long trip. Among those stranded, Heather Francisco, another Delta customer. She was in Mississippi to spread her mother's ashes when she got stuck and decided to rent a car and drive home to Enumclaw. I've still got my mom in here because of the whole mess. The Leckies have seen it firsthand. Everyone's scrolling their phones looking for the next available flight. And of course, there's not going to be one that you can get for under $1,000 at that time. Delta has been slammed for its customer service, even called out by Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. At SeaTac, the airline's baggage claim is cramped. Luggage piling up, waiting for a reunion. But at least there appears to be progress. We're just grateful that we've made it this far and we can kind of make manage everything we have going forward. In a statement, Delta said that customer service remains its top priority and urged its customers to use its online submission forms to make any complaints or to get anything back that they feel as though they may be owed. This here is the real problem. Airports across the country, including here at SeaTac, bags upon bags just piling up at all these airports that travelers never made it to. Live at the airport, Jim Nelson, King 5 News.